So for many, the heel to toe tack is going to be the easiest tack to learn. It's actually kind of half of a 360 as well. So for a lot of people, we teach them the 360 first, and then you've just got to learn how to kick out halfway round. Definitely go and have a look at the 360 video. I've told you that before, and that's going to definitely help with this. But also what I'm going to teach you today is going to help with the 360, because I've never really talked about the body position, and that's the key element that I'm going to really focus on. I also want to say that these videos I'm making at the moment, they're not a replacement for my premium videos. Um, here I'm really just focusing on YouTube on like a single point that I think will be really helpful with anyone learning these techniques. And um, they're not like a full progression video where I cover absolutely everything in detail. And I fine tune that very, very carefully. Um, you know, they take me months to make and I don't have time at the moment to do that. And I know there's loads of people learning to tack. I have all these requests for it. So I'm just getting out these quicker videos so that I can give you something. And yeah, it might not solve everyone's problems, but it will definitely give you one thing that will make things a little bit easier. You know, I jokingly said, hey, that makes it easy in some of the other videos. And people have come back and gone, oh, the toe deal tack isn't easy. It's not easy at all. It's really hard. All these tacks are difficult. They're all going to take loads of practice, months, years for some people uh, to get them fine-tuned to the point where they're polished up. But hopefully these tips will make it just a little bit easier. So let's crack on with the heel to toe. As always, kite position is the most important thing. We have discussed it a lot in the past. Again, go and look at the surfboard video. That's a great way of starting off. Go and have a look at the uh, 360 video. That will give you the general concepts of what you should be doing with your kite. So, we're riding along. We bring the kite up. As we're bringing the kite up, we're starting to slow the sheet out and we're sitting down against that power so we can control it. We're holding our, our direction. Kite gets to 12, we sheet out and we start to carve. Okay? This is our start position. Then, where do we get to? We're trying to get round to this toe side position and you can see the difference here. Here, I'm leaning back. My weight is all back. The board's probably slightly canted over, but I need to get my weight forward over my toe side when I get round to here. So the key element that we're going to be focusing on in this video is something that I think Chubb's always said very well, which is, it's all in the hips. All in the hips. Hey, hey. It's all in. Come on. Work with me now. It's all in the hips. Yeah. It's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. <laughs> Get off of me. Uh, funny things like that are actually really good because they're going to, hopefully when you're on the water, you'll remember silly little phrases like that and it might be what triggers you to remember it's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. So as you're going into that tack, hopefully you'll see Chubbs there getting a little bit cozy with Adam Sadler, and you will remember, right, it's all in the hips, it's all in the hips. And I'm gonna show you why it's all in the hips. It's all gonna be about getting our hips forwards. That is the key for this particular tack. So, kite up to 12, leaning back, sitting in the harness, we sheet out at the top. As soon as we start to carve, you'll see that our body weight comes forwards. And the way that it comes forwards is I'm pushing my hips forwards as hard as I can towards the toe side edge. So I'm pushing it directly in. So if you're looking at me here, I'm off and I'm fully extending. So you should feel that extension through your hip flex at the front. You should feel really tight at this point. Your back, your shoulders are still going to be back, but you're just getting your hips forwards. And this is what the starting point of getting your weight up over the board. It's quite an aggressive movement. Now that I've relaxed out of that, I can feel my hip flexors. Mine are pretty tight. I can feel a little bit of my back there. So it shouldn't just be like, a, oh, I just got to get my hips forwards a little bit. It's fully forwards, okay? Our weight is now coming in board. So that's the first movement. There's actually a second movement as well. So we've got our hips forwards towards the toe side edge. And then the slight addition then is we're going to move it forward. So we're pushing this front hip forwards and we're driving with our knee as well. Like that classic kite foiling movement. Hips are pushing towards the front of the board. Uh, I like to think, remember this one 
if I channel a little bit of uh, John Travolta, a bit of Saturday Night Fever. Mm, mm, mm. Staying alive, staying alive. So, a little bit of Chubbs, a little bit of John Travolta. It works for me. Those movements really do make the difference. They get your weight in board, they get, start getting your weight forwards, and then that allows you to then only have your upper body sort of out of position. Sheeting in, a flick of the wrist, and you can get your upper body forwards. So the key starting point for all that is getting those hips forwards and forwards. So forwards over the board, forwards towards the nose. It's as easy as that. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, I don't have my bar with me today, but we are gonna do a couple of beach drills. They're quite straightforward. They're more of an exercise than anything. I want you to feel that body position. I want you to feel where various muscles are pulling to show you the position you're supposed to be getting in. So, to start with, we're gonna go into kind of a squat. So this is us at that point just before we carve. All our weight is, well, our weight is even across our feet, okay? And I want you just to shift into that position. I want you to feel what that's like, okay? So you're going down and you're cranking your hips forwards. And what you should be feeling is that pull here, and you should feel that extension all the way up your back. It's not just kicking your hips forward and you know, your shoulders will be further back into the turn to still allow you to have some drive through that turn. So get used to that movement and feel all those muscles pulling into position. So forwards, feel that extension and then drive forwards with that front hip. Feel that pull down the side there. I want you to really feel what that feels like and get it lodged in your head so that when you're on the water and you're doing it and you crash, you can go, did that feel the way it did on the beach? Or did I just do it kind of half-heartedly? Did I go along and just kind of push my hips a little bit this way and that? Not really, not really go for it properly. Like it is a proper extension. It's all in the hips and then a little bit of John Travoa. Okay, so that is the main thing to have a go at. Then I try throwing in the bar movement as well. So hips forwards, hips forwards, and twist. Remember the head always looks where we want to go. So up, twist, twist. Hips, hips, drive, sheet in, twist. Run through those a few times on the beach, definitely help. Just get used to what's happening with your body. As always, let us know how it, go, how it, how it goes for you in the comments. And um, I'll be back next time with some uh, push tacks, I think. See you later.